so in here i want to show how exactly we can uh, display information in here because at the moment we are echoing things from our controllers so this is not correct we are not supposed to echo anything inside our controllers so i'll remove my products controller we don't actually need the products controller here because the controller is all about the page so you can delete the controller products the products with php inside controllers let's remain with home so let me remove this echo in here so we can't be echoing things in here even though this is the function that will run so instead we want to create a a function called view okay now the way classes work is like this so for example i can have a class in here i can have two classes in here so i can have another class here and say class two class number two something like this okay and then for example in this other class as well i can have uh, another function uh, like this so l l let's imagine i have uh, 10 functions in this class right here now those functions are doing a very good job so what i want is a second class that has exactly the same functions as the ones in this home the only thing is i want to add one extra function to extend its functionality now the problem is if i copy this code here the way i've done it here as you can see this is repeated code public function index public function so this is repetition now it doesn't look so bad when there's just one function i'm copying but imagine i have 20 functions in here and i copy them to another class that is a waste of space because I'll be repeating myself. So instead, what we do, instead of having to repeat like here, I can have, uh, let's say, function index here, and then another function, I'll say public function view, like so. Okay. So if instead of me copying this and putting it here i can simply tell this class to get some of the functionality from here and i do that by extending this function i'll just say extends home like this so what i've done here is i've extended this function here into here so this means that i have access to these functions in here as well so if for example, I wanted to run this function. I can simply do it from di directly from here. I can just say this view. So it's like exactly as if these functions were inside this one. Same thing. So this is where the protected keyword comes from. So as you can see this protected keyword, what this means is that these variables are private however an extension like this one an extended class can still access these these variables here if need be okay but if these guys are private the way this function is private it means even this extended version cannot access that private function even from outside the private function cannot be accessed so that, those are the differences between protected and private. Okay, so this is how we extend. So when you see extend, it just means whatever functions are in this uh, class, they are also now available in this one. So simple and straightforward. So let me close this. So the reason I mentioned this is because these are controllers like here, but there's one function, which is function view, which is universal to all of them. All of them must be able to display some, to display a template. So we're going to be using the view function to do that. So I'm going, just going to cut this and then take, go to controller.php, the one inside core, and then put my PHP tags. And then I will create a function in here. Oh, a class, sorry controller like so and in here I will put this public function view 
So now, every time I create a controller in controllers here, like the one with home, I can simply say extend controller. So now I'm extending this other large controller here, the biggest one. So any functionality that you think all the controllers will need, you put it inside the main controller here, and then you simply extend like this. Okay, very, very good. So let's see how we can actually display a home page, for example. So because we are accessing this class right here, now I want to see how we can display a view. So to do that, we will use this same function here. So let's add a few things in this function. First of all, we are going to have a parameter here called the path. And so what do we do with the path? We check if the file exists. Now I could just simply copy from the app.php because this is exactly the same thing. I'm going to copy this. Just a bit of a difference. I'll copy path and put it here instead. So I'm looking for the file. Now I'm not looking inside controllers. I'm looking inside views. Okay, so I'm looking for a view with that file name. So if it exists, then I'm going to include it. Like that. So include that view. Oh yeah, I think that's about it. But then inside this view, I can pass in some data because we might want to have some data in there. For example, if the view is the home page, we will need the page title and page so on and so forth. But then it's not all the time that we will need this data. So I'm going to assign this to an empty array like this. Now, when, I, when you assign it to a value in there, it means it becomes an optional value. Somebody can put something or not. So that's what we want. So there we go, data is equal to empty and then we have our view here. So now I want to create one view. So let's go into views and create, create a new file. I'll save this as uh, home.php. This is the home page. I can name it really anything I want in here. At, at this point, it doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to name it as home.php. And then I'm just going to have some HTML in here html right and then i'm just going to say this is the home page so this is a like one of those pages from the templates that we have that we are trying to put so we imagine this is the home page so if i come here and do this uh, we won't see anything yet unless if i go back to the home controller and at this point inside the index, I want to call this function. I'm going to say this view. Now view requires something. So it requires the app, which is mandatory, but this one is optional. So let's just put this one. So the path is going to be equal to what? So you give it a direction as to where it should go actually let me go back to controller oh it's actually inside views okay that's correct i forgot i already did that all right so at this point uh this view and where am i so i don't need to, this is a relative path i don't need to put this dot dot app views because it's already there i just need to put the in between here i don't even need to put the php so at this point i'm just going to say inside we're already inside views so in there maybe i'll put you can create a folder so if you create a folder you would write something like folder and then home.php right something like this whatever the folder name is but if you don't you can just leave it like this but obviously it won't find this file so what we will do is go inside views new file oh actually we do have this file inside views it's the home.php 
okay so my bad i put dot php here i'm not supposed to because remember uh where is this we're just supposed to put the in between there so let me come back here and refresh and you see this is the home page so now our template the html template is actually running and there it is so this is how we we create pages so if you had another page like a products page you do exactly the same thing only that you do it instead of in the home controller you do it in the products controller okay so this is how we display some views and then let's see how we can send these params for remember that we are sending these params here as we are running this method so where do we capture these params from we get them from right here in index so for example i say a b i can echo them here and say echo a and echo b So as you can see, we have milk and we have five. These are the items at the top here. So I can keep going depending on how many items are here. I could add C, D, E, F, and so on. But the problem is if these values are not there, this is going to throw an error. So let me try that, you see. So there'll be an error here, too few arguments. So to avoid this, always whatever variables you put inside this index here, you assign them empty values so that they become optional and if i refresh there we go okay so this is how we do it i will see you in the next video where we start to import our html template into this so that we can actually start to see a ui of some sort i will see you in the next video